This is seriously even more amazing than I imagined. We're Eamon and Beck, and after years of traveling the world in our van, 2020 brought us home to this cabin in the woods. And while we've spent the last five months tackling everything from roofing to deck building, this is sure to be the biggest transformation yet. <laughs> this is so sick! Oh, guys, that's so beautiful. This is where I live now. That puppy started all year. Ready to go to Tim's? Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, love you. Big day. Big day. Yep. Well, do you know where we are? Come on. Yep, he knows. Dude. Hey, How's buddy. How's it going? Thanks again, Tim. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. Big yeah. day. Yeah, big day. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Okay. Tim has been a real help with Mosa. I think we've mentioned it before, but Mosa is an incredible dog, but he is incredibly territorial. So any new person coming to the house, not cool. So Tim's gonna take him while we get the windows. Oh, also, if anyone is interested in Mosa, he's fully available for adoption on the Kingston Humane Society website. So check that out. Back to the cabin. Hi, bud. You're not gone yet? I needed some breakfast. And a latte? I needed some breakfast and a latte, but I'm on my way now, bye. <laughs> They're here. Yeah, boys. Let's go. How you doing, guys? Morning, guys. How you doing? Yep. New trailer, new crew, bigger crew. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. If you guys missed last week, there was a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, the ice on the road and the lack of bodies. So we only got the doors done. It was a little disappointing. But today is the day and I'm feeling good about it. Look like we got some real muscle power today. Absolutely. Looks like Shield Windows sent the A-team today. As soon as they popped in, we started measuring. Confidence in their voices, so I'm feeling good that we're gonna bang this out today. Probably should have known there was gonna be an issue last week when the guy showed up with the Walt tools. These boys, they're all over it. We're in demo mode and Jeff and I are just discussing how he's removed all of these two by fours and there's not even a little pinch of weight. So this entire section is just sitting on this little guy. Even though there is not a lot of weight back there, we are still installing everything to code and we're gonna be putting a brand new header in for each window. So there's three sections of window that are getting installed today. And back updates. Safe to say, she is excited. You guys want a coffee? You guys want a coffee or a tea? Welcome home. Thank you. Yeah. Let there be light, huh? That's it. The wind I'm not the chair was in this. <laughs> Oh, 
we're gonna be able to see the entire lake. And the entire lake's gonna see us. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be like a snow globe over here. <laughs> no more walking around naked, bud. Oh, I'm not stopping. <laughs> so we've got the two sections in and now we're kind of playing with the middle section. So it's a middle single pane of glass, it's 60 inches. We've got 72 inches stud to stud free. The conversation has been brought up that we could potentially put more glass in. Sort of substantial, eight inches of extra glass. We're calling the boss man to see kind of how long that would take because they do need to make a custom window. And then we'll, we'll go from there and make a decision. Oh yeah, so I would just go ahead and do that. What, today? Bob says to do it. So eight inches. But these guys out there are saying, you get 10 more inches. They're all calling each other and they're doing the framing tomorrow and they're moving forward with that. And I think if that's what they are recommending, then they can tell that we would be disappointed otherwise. So you can obviously hear where Beck stands. Size matters to her. <laughs> eight inches is a big deal. <laughs> what, what do you think, buddy? Well, what I would do is, <clears throat> because uh, I know you like to get things moving along, and uh, you know, you can probably get the big hole in the window already and everything's out. I would say go ahead and put in what you've got. Oh my gosh. So we are gonna put a 72 inch, sorry, 71 and a half inch window as opposed to a 60 inch window. Basically put it in tomorrow, frame it all in so it all, you see everything and then we're just gonna put a temporary plywood panel in there. Temporary until the glass comes in. Well, it's funny you say that, Jeff, because we just made a decision that we were gonna just put the 60 in. It's 12 inches more? 11 and a half. Beck's gonna be happy. <laughs> Sorry, I was just on the phone with my father and you told him it was only eight inches and did I just hear again? 11 and a half, Jeff, that's what Jeff, I was Jeff's saying! Jeff's made the call. Yes! Yeah. Theoretically, none oh. of your project can, uh, will oh. never do a halt at all. So it'll be just like normal, it just we'll have to replace the plywood panel, put yeah. the glass in when the glass comes in. I think that's great, Amy. Stoked. Okay, what the heck? I was just saying in there! <laughs> you don't listen to me! <laughs> what? <laughs> that is dramatic. Drama! I've officially got the best seat in the house. It's called the Admiration Station, and you just sit here, admire all the workers, the new view. And eat cookies. And eat cookies. <laughs> yeah, guys, help yourself whenever you're ready there. I know you're like in the middle of a job, but they're, they're available for consumption. This might be the only time I'll ever be able to do this. <laughs> I'm coming in. Um, excuse me? That's my admiration station. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so sick. So sick. <laughs> Thank Take you. Take care, Hi, gentlemen. Guys. Then there was one, one man to foam all the windows. Can he do it? In case we confuse any of you with our talk of how many extra inches and yada yada, as you can see, we have sort of mimicking sections. So three panels here on this side of the room and then three down there. And then we're left with this big middle section here. The glass we had was only 60 inches and now we have 71 and a half inches of glass. I think it's gonna be well worth the four week wait. The real convincing factor was Jeff explaining that even though we will have to wait the four weeks, we are still gonna frame it in. So tomorrow they'll be back to put a proper heading and as well as the window frame, but just plywood instead of glass. So we can still go ahead and finish the Dry drywall wall. sections, have this completely ticked off. And then once the glass is ready, they'll just come in and switch it out. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I think the rest of the afternoon is gonna spent sitting here just in awe of how much this admiration has changed the space. Station. This is by far the best admiration station we've ever had. <laughs> okay, now we can turn that heat back on. Alexa, turn on the heat, please. It's set to heat. This is where I live now, right? 
here. You and I are a little speechless, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. I keep going to like verbalize how I'm feeling, but I can't. This is incredible. <laughs> you can't talk. <laughs> the vlog will now have no more talking. <laughs> the excitement has not settled. No, we've been sitting just staring out the window. Oh my gosh! I got up early just to stand here. <laughs> and now it's your turn? Yeah, I'm checking out the panel number two. We each get our own panels for viewing. Yep, yeah, looks like it's gonna be a great day. Good morning, sir. Oh wow, exciting morning, man. Looks like our couch is here. This guy doesn't waste any time, eh? He doesn't even want to have a coffee, just grabs the sawzall and gets after it. It's a small town jukebox rock and roll. Yeah, like home. I'll give it a karate kick at least. You sure? Ah! Whoa! There we go, baby. So just to reiterate, because I know there was a little confusion yesterday, we are going with the bigger panel. And Jeff couldn't sleep last night thinking about the fact that we couldn't get the glass for a few weeks. So what he's gonna do is a little bit nifty. He hasn't necessarily got approval from Brian, the owner of the window company, but we won't tell Brian. He's gonna take the glass from the 60 inch panel and actually put it into the new frame and then just kind of put some pine around and then once the new glass is in, we're gonna slap it in. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> Say for a second that you're so glad and I was right and everything, or are we gonna cut that? Because now that we've updated, always listen to your wife. Yeah, now that we've updated this center window, we're actually like basically perfectly symmetrical. It's the same size as these middle panes in the two sections. It's a great call. While these guys get finished up on the center window, I'm gonna make my way outside here and start playing with this siding. So all of this siding I wanna keep because I'm not sure if I can get this exact log style. So any pieces that are in good shape, I'm gonna need to take the nails off, organize it. Not the most fun job, but let's face it, I've been standing around doing not a lot the past couple days. Jeff like just slapping some like cheap chipboard up there to like kind of trim it. He's gone way above and beyond. He's using white vinyl wow. MDF with a you know caulking and wow. Wow. Stop. Oh hey. hi. Hi. I was gonna rip open that couch. Now? Just wait five seconds. I'll just have a look. Okay. Just have a look. I'm in the middle of laundry. I'll have a look. Okay. What kind of couch did we get? <laughs> this is the one thing Beck let me be in charge of. And I found this faux leather couch. There were no reviews. There were no other pictures. There was only one photo. I like it. Hey bud. Yeah. So the couch is a little lower than I thought. Yeah. Like it's like, uh, you'd kind of have to fall into it? Kinda. Oh! You need the legs. Oh, is there legs? Yeah! Oh, that makes sense. There's gotta be legs! Oh, that makes sense. Found the legs. Just as I suspected. What have we learned in this video so far? Never listen to myself. <laughs> they're not just window movers, they're couch oh. movers! I was just saying to Shaggy, when it rains, it pours. We've been waiting weeks for a couch, it's arrived. We've been waiting months for the windows, it's arrived. And all of a sudden, 
We've got a propane delivery. I think we're set up for automatic since the last time we ran out. And it looks like we need to move some trucks. How's it going? Hey boss, how you doing? Not bad. You're right on time, eh? We're low. Hey, I'm up. Nice. Rockstar, baby. It's pretty tough. It's not that comfortable. Well, maybe it needs to be worked in. I'm interested in a lunch with a view. Oh my God, dude. We've actually kept in touch with the old owners of this place, so we thought we'd try to FaceTime them to show them the brand new windows. Oh, hey, Eamon. John, how you doing, buddy? Hello. Hey. Good, how are you? What are you, what are you doing right now? I'm working. Oh, okay. I, I, I work, not like you guys. Oh. oh. Shots fired. <laughs> John, check this out. <laughs> oh, guys, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay, everybody, leave some nice comments for Jeff in Jeff's the comment the section below because he's the man. <laughs> and if you need windows, go to Shill Windows and ask for Jeff. Only Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. No problem at all. You were amazing. Time to pick up Moosehead. Moosa, honey. Moosa. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mr. Boy. Hi. Right, Bob. Hi. Go say hi to mom. <laughs> He's smiling. He's smiling. Hi, baby. We are so lucky to have Tim that enjoys taking care of most and most really enjoys taking care of Tim <laughs> because Tim is not vegan and once in a while cooks bacon in the house. <laughs> so you can imagine how much Moosehead enjoys that. So Tim doesn't just take care of dogs. This is actually an Airbnb out in Westport area. It's about seven acres right on the conservation area. If you guys have any interest in meeting Tim or coming to stay out in the country sometime this summer, you can check out his Airbnb listing. We'll leave it below. All right, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, buddy. He's not here right now, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> just you wait to see what we got for you at home, buddy. Are you excited, man? You're not gonna believe it. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Love you lots. The big reveal. <laughs> Look at here. Look. Look. Ooh. Say, mommy and daddy, I love it. Oh. Oh, he's starving. Tim, you didn't feed him? <laughs> We are very excited to finish this entire wall off and tick off the living space. Before we drywall, we need to vapor barrier. Basically, there's not much wall here because it's a lot of glass, but where there is wall is essentially two by four studs and we need to make sure that's all nice and sealed so we don't get any moisture coming in or out. And we're gonna use this acoustic goopy stuff as well as some tape and some plastic, seal it nice, Slap on some sheet rock. Let's do it. Spin you around me. You pull my body in so tight. Yeah, baby, you grab my mind and know what I like. I don't know, man. Okay, okay, Eamon. Should I just fold this up? Yeah, we're gonna delete this thing. Okay, <laughs> this is the face of Eamon when he is utterly pissed off. <laughs> He's so pissed. <laughs> it's gonna be all right, kid. We'll figure it out. But I got this tape. This is like a 3M vapor barrier tape. I don't have enough, so I'm just gonna do these sections and then, because we don't have a staple gun. The right way would be a staple gun. When I take you dancing and spin you around me Hey there, friends. Sulky Sally left the building. <laughs> We're now ready to rock. Sulky Sally left the building? Yep. The sure Sulky did. Sally's friend give out kisses? Yeah. Yeah? Eamon's got his tool belt on, so that can only mean one thing it's time to drywall. Yeah! I can't hear you. <laughs> Very exciting. Very exciting. Oh, oh, that just hits different. <laughs> Let's peace, baby. How 
good does that look? Wow, Amen. This is seriously even more amazing than I imagined. This is criminal. <laughs> this is crazy. I sent a pic to Eric, the electrician. Yeah. And he's like, holy <laughs> man, like you got the vision. Yeah. Because when he was here, he was kind of like, oh, what are you doing? Why, why'd you buy this place? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, all there's left to do is decorate. So I'm actually tuning in to Skillshare's course by Emily Henderson called Style Your Space. Apparently, I'm a mix of Bohemian and Scandinavian when it comes to design. Who knew? Anyways, you guys have seen us use Skillshare to learn everything from how to play the ukulele. How's that going, by the way, babe? Still practicing. <laughs> to how to edit photos and videos. So a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and giving you guys the opportunity to try it for free. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. It's curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and there are new courses added to the premium membership all the time. It's only $10 a month on an annual subscription and the first 1,000 of you who click the link in our description box are gonna get a trial of that premium membership for free. Here we are. I wouldn't typically say I'm materialistic, but technically these windows are material and I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh, I can't stop looking in the viewfinder. I love it so much. Yes. If you guys love them as much as we do. Hit the thumbs up. And if there's not three to 500,000 <laughs> thumbs up on this video, then you're a liar. Get excited for us. We're super stoked. We appreciate all your ongoing support. And we'll see you Sunday. I, I have a little YouTube vlog. You guys mind? I don't know. Have you done your hair and makeup yet? <laughs> what do I think? What? <laughs> oh, what do you think uh, the color of Mars really is? What do you think I'm talking about? I think that it's amazing that we can land a, like a truck on Mars, and, right? We can uh, build a couple windows in the cottage. <laughs> By now, we're experts at the Nesk. <laughs> so before, nah. <laughs> <laughs>